guys, how's it going? It's the Height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Norp, uh, the Norp Apologue. I was gonna say Norp the Apologue, but anyway, in the last episode, we unlocked this stuff, the Zorp, the Zorpium, the Z, the Zebelium, something like that, and it's the pink stuff, I think. We also unlocked these new points. Oh, that's the Zebelium. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So sometimes the rock gets angry, as we learned, and it sucks up everything, or it sucks up all this stuff, and it creates a dense ball of matter that turns into Zebelium. And this little guy here in the blimp just goes and captures it and puts it in here, and we're able to use it for our own devices. But we've got a pile of money here. We've also got a pile of Zorps. I, uh, Yorps. Uh, Yorps. <laughs> Zorps, Yorps, Norps, Norp. That's what they're called, Norps. Okay, and what I want to do today, in the last episode, we finished unlocking the gun shop. I want to build a grenade launcher guy. Um, because we can. Gattle Norp, empowered by Zebelium. A rigorous selection process. The, the Gattle Norp is able to withstand the heat and knockback of the Gatling gun. Oh, interesting. This thing does two damage without multipliers. Can, multipliers are not applied, but every time there's a compression event, it multiplies the damage. So it currently will be doing four damage. I don't know if that's worth it or not. We have to be careful. We've only got one of these things, so I want to make sure we use it for the right thing. Zebelium upgrade allow runners to teleport instead of walking. It may significantly cut down on delivery times if you have a lot of low range damage. Runners teleport to pick up delivery. Teleport time is three seconds and reduced by all speed bonuses. Oh my god. There's so many things. What else can we buy? Dirty thrusters? Drones spill shards when descending like a mountaineer with thrusters but without a hat. Oh! That's interesting. Also, our drone got sucked up during the last compression event and it is now sitting over here, just smashing into the rock over and over again, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's worth it to buy more of these. It might be. Do we just keep buying them? They they get more and more expensive every time we buy one, so I'm not totally sure it's worth it, but... What is GEET protocol? The NORP Expedited, Expedited Express Throw Protocol is a rigorous training regimen for runners. With the help of a little jetpack, they will learn how to throw what they carry all the way to the drop point. I mean, it's $120,000 doesn't seem worth it. The runners are in a constant state of fatigue and now they hear of mountaineers that can take breaks. Oh. So is this unlocked when you buy the mountaineers? After the compression event, they gain two times increase their carrier capacity. Holy cow. Let's do that. That seems so worth it. We have unlocked the academy. $64,000 to get in there. The scientists at the Rock Analysis Lab have it deduced that it is possible to infuse NORPs with Zebelium. They believe the results is a, psych a psychic NORP that can lift shards with their minds. What? And gain energy based on how much runners deliver. Provides housing for three NORPs. What in the heck is that about? That is... That sounds so wacky. I don't even know if I want to do that or not. King of the pile. There can be only one. If a mountaineer starts digging while at the highest point of the pile, it is crowned king and digs twice as fast. The king can be crowned again up to four times for a total of 16 times digging speed. What? I mean, it sounds kind of bad, but I just want to play with it. Maybe? I don't know. Is that... Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll leave it. So it seems like everything is just a little bit slower now, right? Like these guys, are they moving slower? Like I think they are. 
I just it feels like everything is kind of moving slower now that there's been the compression event and I don't know if it's just my mind playing tricks on me or if that actually happened should I buy something maybe we should buy this gaddle norp I don't know I gotta spend this on something I think we're gonna save up I'm gonna save up enough norps and we're gonna buy the gatling norp I don't care we're just gonna do it Oh, wait a minute. Rocket arrows? All regular arrows become rocket arrows that deal 15 damage up from 3. Inherits the range of rockets and benefits from rocket upgrades. Ah, uh, that seems not super worth it. Maybe we won't do that. Uh-oh. It's happening again. It's... Wait, it's sucking... Wait, it was sucking the pink stuff back in? Why is... I don't understand. The pink stuff gets sucked back in and the white stuff gets sent out, maybe? Interesting. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Has that always been happening? I don't know. I feel like I'm just losing my mind at this point. I need that Gatling gunner. I need it. So I have so many Mountaineers now that they're actually just throwing stuff into the delivery. <laughs> I don't even need the pickers anymore. That's actually great. You love to see it. Oh, it's frozen. Damage. Perfect. All right, we're going to keep on keeping on. I don't know what I want to unlock next. I think it's the Gatling gun. I want to see it. I want to see it in action. All right, it is time for the Gatling Norp. We're buying it. I don't know where this guy sits up. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> what the heck? What is coming with the top? Was that his bullets? He's got a chain of bullets. Where is he going to go? Oh, he just stands right beside it and just... Oh, here we go. Oh my god. That's terrific. So he's going to push himself probably all the way back. He's going to have to go get more ammo. Oh, he just reloads right away. Okay, so the Gatlin guy is pretty worth it. Look at him go. I don't know why this guy's not shooting. It seems... Oh, he is shooting. He's just not very good. Okay, these rocket guys, I have them up to an 80% chance of combo right now, which is the maximum they can go, but, like, that is really high. Those guys just sit in there and they keep smashing it. 80% chance to smash it again. So, as you can see here, they are most of my damage right now. The Gatling gun's actually quite a bit as well. And what is this, ice? I think that might be the ice. So the ice obviously is doing quite a bit because it's based on the other damage that we're inputting. But that's not bad. Now, I'd really like to get to prestige level 3 again before we actually prestige. So I'm going to hold out and hopefully we're able to do it. Housing is starting to get incredibly expensive. So I'm not sure. I mean, every 10 minutes I get a free guy anyway, which is good, but I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. I would really like that extra point before we prestige again. Okay, here comes the Mountaineers to save the day. They're going to help me deliver a pile of stuff. Check this out. They're going to make a mountain right beside there. And they're going to go up there. Oh, I love this part. And they're just going to start throwing it right into the stash. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Yep, that's efficiency right there. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Come on. We're there. Oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, that's actually great. I don't know if I want to keep playing right now on this save or on this prestige level because things just cost too much and I don't know if we're going to be able to actually advance. So what do we do? Is there some more upgrades we can get going on here? Is this bar here at the bottom the compre- Oh, the compression bar indicates your progression to a compression event, which occurs when the pile grows tall enough. Compression events increase your tier. Oh, 
is that how that works? So if we make the pile high enough, we end up with a compression event. I kind of want to try it again and see what happens. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there or not because we've got too many of these digger guys now. Yeah, it might not be worth even waiting for. I didn't realize that's how it happened, but that makes sense. So once we reach a certain height, whatever height that is, the compression event just happens. Interesting. Okay, you love to see that. I'm noticing here that there's an inspiration. I need two more milestones, which I actually will have, I think, once I level up. And then this one here gives me a plus two to my multiplier. So we'll be up to seven just by hitting the prestige button. Um, I think it's maybe worth it. Oh my god, look at how high this is getting. Oh, I thought they were going to make the pile high enough. We're getting close. Not close enough. We did it! We got the compression event. I thought I would try. So we've done the thing. Which means we're going to end up with another one of these. I also want to try and unlock the academy. We're getting pretty close to being able to afford it. Now we've got blue and pink shards. That guy's going to head on over there and gather up that other guy. And the thing I've noticed is the... So these colored ones that are going back into the rock, they actively fight you making your pile too big because they're like sucking themselves back in, which is, I mean, it makes it harder and harder to get to the next level every time, I suppose. But I don't know, does this compression mean we're multiplying our stuff that's going in here? I don't know if it's actually worth more or not. It must be. Because we're already half full of this tier level 3 prestige. So this must have a multiplier built into it as well. I'm not totally sure, but I think that's the case. I really, really want to try and get that university or academy. There it is. I want that. We want 60, 64 grand to be able to afford that. So we're just going to wait and we're going to see what it does. I want to check it out. So I'm reading this combo power and it is going to use my, my, whatever this thing's called, my Zybelium. But during a combo, every third hit gets five times damage which is a lot of damage. And right now these guys are doing most of my damage. So if I can get that to go to five times, that seems really good. So I kind of want to check it out. You know what? Let's just do it. I'm just going to do it. We were up at around 14,000 damage before, maybe 15,000. We'll see what ends up happening. We're already up to 22,000 damage. I think it's worth it. It also sends stuff farther away. It said something about, yeah, it starts at 2 to 5 range and it goes to 7 to 10 range. So 7 to 10 with meditation. And I have meditation unlocked. So it's basically getting all the way to the, to the stash. All right, we have enough. Let's get the academy. I don't know where they're going to build this. Kind of running out of room. Oh, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, dang it. I figured we were going to need one of those, but I was really hoping there was going to be some upgrades in there that didn't require that. Anyway, it is what it is. I, I think we were going to push for four before I prestige, and I know I keep pushing farther and farther, but at this point... Look at these slammers. We can just keep stacking up slammers. They're going to go. They're just going to go. All right, guys. So we're halfway, well, a third of the way through Prestige 4. And I was just kind of looking if there was anything else we could buy right now. And it, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's too much we can do. I could buy some speed. I could buy some upgrades here. But I noticed that there's this thing that lets us turn off our guys. It just lets us turn them off. So what I can do is buy as many drones as I can afford and force this thing to go into the next compression event, maybe. 
let's rest those guys too. If everybody's resting, then this should just end up being a compression event. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me! I think. Why are my mountaineers not stopping? Okay, there they go. They're stopping. We're not we're not taking anything off the cliff. We're not moving anything from the cliff. I guess the drones kind of are. But that shouldn't matter too much. This should eventually just build up so high that we force another compression event. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're going to check it out and see how that goes. We're getting close. We're getting so close. Come on, stupid drones. Quit it. Quit it. Uh, we just got to wait for one more ice event, I think. When the ice shows up, that's when the, the mountain really starts to grow. It should be here soon. Oh, we did it! Okay, so we got another compression event. I guess that means I can put these guys back to work. I can put these guys back to work. And I, I seriously don't know what this does for us. You can increase the size of the cursor and the options. I don't really care about that. Okay, so now we're into the green tier. And I don't know if this is good or bad. But I do know we're going to end up with another Zybellium thing here right away. And what I would really like to do is save up $2.3 million to increase our ammo for our Gatling gun. But I don't think that is really going to happen at this point. I could buy a second Gatling gun. Or do I just save up the money and check out what this thing does? Gained mine energy based on 40% of the shards delivered by runners, allowing them to lift an equivalent amount. I mean, we could just try it and see what happens. So my stacks are getting smaller. These guys, every time you compress... Oh, you know what? I think it just means that there's more stuff in a smaller amount of area. So they're carrying the same amount of stuff. It just looks smaller. I guess that makes sense with the whole compression event thing. Okay, I'm going to save up until we have one more person, which shouldn't take long. I think we get one every 10 minutes and yeah those drones all turned into baby drones so they're just gonna start slamming into that guy which is perfect and that is gonna be delivered here shortly oh man i can hardly wait now i don't think this is gonna necessarily be good but i do want to try it just to see what it does <laughs> so we're gonna try it for science i don't think it's gonna be great but we're gonna do it anyway i don't even care and these guys are hardly digging anymore. Look at them. They're hardly doing anything. In fact, it looks like they're barely even able to move. This is on compression event four. And how are my upgrades for those guys? My digging width is set to seven columns already. I could improve the digging, but it takes a bunch of people that I don't have. And I guess this king of the pile thing will maybe be be coming in handy here eventually but not right now we have more important fish to fry all right we have the technology let's do it there he goes that's him right there uh okay he's literally just picking stuff up and chucking it in And it said it's based off of what? Lift shards with their mine energy, sends them to the stash. Gains mine energy based on 40% of the shards delivered by runners. Okay. Mountaineer attunement. Allow Zynarp to gain mine energy based on Mountaineer collection? Oh, that sounds pretty good. We can almost afford it, too. That's pretty good. Let's do that next. Mountaineer attunement. Okay, so that guy's going to be able to pick up even more stuff now. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Perfect. And I guess for our last guy, we may as well just put another slammer. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to five. It's not looking too great. 
five is looking out of reach right now so we might have to prestige and start over if we look at what we got for upgrades i do want this times two thing mountaineers throw shards at 100 percent greater forward velocity when the pile is 70 percent on the way to compress that seems decent gatling balloon let's upgrade the balloon gunner with some added oomph with upgrade balloon gunner acquired the balloon will now shoot gatler bullets that sounds very good the gatling is so good if you can put fire inside the mouth of a norp what about bullets with fire breath unlocked slammers will spray gatler bullets on the seventh combo Jeez, louise there's so much cool stuff I don't even know what we want to work on next. All right, anyway, let's do the prestige thing here. Let's get this going. It's time. Fare thee well. Fare thee well, pile. And eventually, we'll be able to start upgrading some more stuff. Yay. Look at all the little happy guys. They have no job anymore. <laughs> okay. So, we get all of our points back, it looks like? Do we? Uh... Oh yeah, we get all of our points back, so we can do a different build every time if that's what we want. We want this one, bigger pile. You start with some more norps and passive reclamation occurs less. Plus five norps, pile grows twice as far. Okay, that's great. And we want the plus two to multiplier. We want anything that's going to buff the head basher guys. And I think we're going to try and get some more fire damage this time. So we'll actually do that. Bullet breath. Why not? What else do we got? Explosive position. Uh, mm, Gatling balloon. How many more points do I have? One more. Let's do this one, the higher the pile. Let's go like that. All right, I am going to grind out some more guys. Holy cow, that was one click? What just happened? I clicked it one time and it just went crazy and now it's back to normal. Feels bad. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this episode right there. I hope you guys are liking it so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I will see you next time.